How's it going, everybody? It's Matt, and uh, I'm recording this on the same night that I recorded the last episode, but this stuff was just kind of getting a little bit too good to, you know, not get on recording, because I feel like I've just skipped out on the first mission. Um, so, what's happened since we left? Well, homegirl over here, Parvati, um, she was raised by her dad because her mom was uh, an important scientist lady, and her dad raised her, and that's why she's so fond of her dad. And she said it just wasn't right to, you know, send all these people out of their homes on account of uh, diverting power away from their little town and forcing them to come back to Edgewater. So, by the way, this is the um, deserter camp. But um, this vicar in town, who is like the priest, I guess, um, told me that, kind of suspiciously told me that <clears throat> I need to get a book for him or something like that. Um... Like a secret, sacred book, something like that. I don't know. wasn't really paying attention, but I guess I can get that and bring it back to him or not because he seemed kind of strange about it, so I'll just have to see. But then, yeah, I killed some people. I got a new blade. I got a rifle. I don't know if I had the last time. I got a cool new pistol. Um, I got a helmet. I got another outfit. So I'm basically balling. Right now, I have a choice. I was given a choice by the people of... Bing Bongville. What is this place called? The Deserter Camp, whatever it is. Oh, Botanical Lab. Um, of instead of diverting power from them to Edgewater, divert power from Edgewater to the Botanical Garden. And uh, that way, she, the lady was like, Yeah, you'll be freeing a whole bunch of people from a life of working at the pathetic cannery. And you know what? She's right. So, uh,. I already wiped all these marauders out, so I was, yeah, you see their corpses, that was fun. But, I'm not an evil boy, I'm a good boy. Oh, are there marauders here? I hope so. Oh, where are you at, Holmes? Yeah, Oh, it's not soft targets. Is there a bullet drop in this game? Here we go! No, there's not. Where the, wait, hold on. What the fuck? Body move, there they go. Five damage types, physical, plasma, corrosion, shock, and in race. Minimums are vulnerable or resistant. Yeah, I know that much. Oh, my eyes are so dry. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, Parvati, whoa. What are you doing in there? Oh, Jesus, what the hell? Um, don't worry. Our body's not dead. She's simply down for the count. Let's see. Now she's good. Uh, whoops. <laughs> I keep pressing B to go to uh, the pit boy. And I just wind up teabagging my uh, victims. So, um, that's fun. Yeah, give me all that. I'll probably sell it. I always wanted to poke around in here. Did you? Uh, the... What are these people called? Like, the followers? They seem to, uh... Be kind of... They, you know, they respond to where you go and all that. Whoa! Oh. Nice one, but they, uh, respond to... Whoa, daddy-o! But they respond to areas that you go to and certain things that you do. And it's nice because it makes Parati and I assume all my other followers that I'll come across in the future seem like they're real. Alright, let's go, baby. Yeah, but this game's fun, man. Oh! I just remembered. Um, I was, You remember how in the last episode I was talking about... Um, how I bet there's a fallout easter egg in here. Well, guess what I came across in like one building over out of that town. I don't know if this relates or not, but I mean, given everything that's so similar, I would assume it is. But there was some... I'll pop up a pic... Well, actually, there's no point in popping up a picture of it because um, it's just a picture of... The, anyway, the thing is, um, it mentions the Great War. They said, yeah, they never really recovered after the Great War. The control room should be ahead somewhere and a touch to the right. 
Thank you. I hope we're doing the right thing. My next begin. Oh, what? Where'd he go? Oh my God! I completely destroyed him. How sad. Shit. A light machine gun. Ooh, don't mind if I do. Dang, I keep I keep forgetting this is not Fallout. What we got here? Ooh. Terminal. Unlock office door. That was easy. <laughs> Someone wants to get sprayed down, eh? Come on, baby. I got the water. Oh. Oh, ho oh, oh. ho! Oh boy, we got that slow mo stuff too. What kind of ammo does this thing use? I keep teabagging. I'm sorry, man. Um. Oh, it uses light. That's very nice. I was about to say, man, that that's way too fast for heavy. I don't even probably even found 90 heavy rounds. I ignore the ammo count. No man, it's not important right now. Access file zero one. Had to borrow your copy of Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering. Radio's been sputtering. I need the reference. I've returned the copy to the repair bay. Chaos everywhere. Mechanical's gone haywire. Gunfire. Hearing some screams. Oh, law. I think that was someone's leg. Would like to leave early for the day. Please deduct delinquency fee from my pay. Thank you. Proud to be a member of Spacer's Choice Family. So, so these robots went crazy, eh? That's no bueno. Alright, someone I can get up in here. I know someone wants a piece, huh? I know someone wants a piece. Where are you? I know someone wants a piece. Oh, I forget. I forgot I'm gonna actually talking to someone. This is just a terminal. Wonder glue? Um. Oof. Wow. The structural damage. I gotta redirect power, yo. Wait, what? Wait. Wait, what? I was supposed to get it. Oh, I see. Manual override required. Okay, I was about to say, what the fuck? I didn't even get a choice about who I was supposed to ding a ling to, you know what I'm saying? Three switches. That'll be easy enough. Yeah, thanks. Parvati's so cute with, like, I mean, she's not cute, but, like, you know, she just seems so kind. She doesn't seem like a, a weird NPC. Do not screw with me. Um, but like a weird NPC that is useful because like she knows her way around um, machines. You know what I'm saying? All right, I'm just gonna shut up now. Stimulation. Is that what that said? Yeah, I'll unlock a door. Yeet. Personal files. Oh gosh, it's a whole thing. All right, boys, we here to yeet. What? Oh, that's cool. We got magazines too, dude. This game basically is Fallout, just with another skin. It's Fallout. It's the um, what's that? Bioshock Infinite Fallout expansion. Great War expansion. Whoa, these guys are dead. This plant oh, was packing a pe oh, oh. oh, wait, hold on. Give me a second. Leave me alone. Wait, 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 wait. Son of a bitch. Why did I do that? You know what's great? Crave cereal. I have tasted that and I, I can't get enough. That's part of the reason I'm turning into a tubby boy. All right, scrapata boy. Bro, what the heck? What got me 58? Dang. Trying to identify the weak spots. That's the last of them. Right dead in the middle, apparently. It's, that hits the fuel tank, that does. Mm, oh yeah, our freaking pack plant worker. How could I forget? Does he look like a ghoul? Oh no, I'm just messed up. That was also a girl. Way to go, Matt. Oh god, my eye. 
Itchy bitchy. Just kidding, don't say that. Whoa. These rats want to get tapped, son. Repair log. Um. Huh. Oh, wow. That's that's edgy. Not edgy. Suspicious. Oh, gosh. He probably died. Or, or he, wait. Never mind. I'm just not even going to speculate. Right now. That's nice. Oh. Oh. That was in, um. My eyes are so dry. That was in an email. Does he need a scratting? That's right, you better friggin' not, punk. Oh! Uh, why did I, well, I just, I did it because I was curious, okay? Oh, I'm sorry, little guy. It's not how I normally am, I promise. Where does this go? Wow, big pipe. Big pipe time. Excuse me. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Take me some of that, too. Is that for this? Damn it. Wait, what? Hacking skill is too low. Five seconds. What the hell? Optional Chester's passcode. Well, I mean, yeah, I'd like to. Sorry, can't do that. Wait, what? Who's this guy? Oh, he's not Chester, is it? He's a security chief. We need a Chester. Keep wanting to call her Parvati, but it's just Parvati. Whoops, wrong way. Um. Oh wow. Excuse me. Yo, just chill. Ignore the AK on my back. It's just cosmetic. I promise. I didn't even have to pay for it. Hashtag at Apex Legends. I'd love a. What? An heirloom that you could earn instead of having to buy. That would be kinda dope, you know what I'm saying? Shut up, kid. There's no phantom. Can I not just. Yeah, thanks. That's much easier. And same thing here. Well, this is an interesting safety mechanism. Oh, never mind. I could do it anyway. Hey, man, you wanna die? Hey. You're not real. You're not real. Get away from me, Phantom. Shoot. Scram. Brother. Chill. Oh, dang. That would have been funny. That would have been just. That would have been good for spooky time. I'm not trying to hurt you. You can talk? The Phantom's never talked before. Well, I knew I shouldn't have eaten that sprat raw. Yeah, probably. How long have you been see, down here, buddy? See, Higgins, this is why you must always boil your sprats before ingesting. Of course. Do excuse me. I experienced brief flashes of mania during which I am visited by the phantoms of my imagination. Wow. Chester D. Higgins. The D. Chester. Is definitely not insane. I use it as a reminder. I need that. I might need the. <laughs> Back away slowly, man. Oh yeah. Another thing I forgot is um. Uh, what well, I got Zoe back to Zoe was part of the camp, that was um part of that you know what is it what is the word called the word called deserters camp so zoe was part of them so i got her back over there and then something happened with the explaining faction um relations and it said something like basically unless you're on the shoot to kill list which i would assume is the worst possible relation with a place doing performing any transgression Usually you can just leave and come back a few days later and everything will be good. And then at the end it says, citizens of Halcyon, Halcyon don't have very good memories. I love a game that's like a little self-aware. Hey, since I asked this, how long have you been down here, bud? Hard to say. By my reckoning, Higgins has been here somewhere between two weeks and forever. My recollection's a touch fuzzy these days. And what exactly uh, do you do here? Oh, Higgins has been many things over the years. Sprat Wrangler, Saltuna Critic, Aetherwave Personality. All right, brother, come on. I've come a long way for someone who started off as a simple engineer. Right here on this planet, yeah. You're an engineer? Wow. I specialized in auto mechanicals, drones, sentries, repaired them, maintained, upgraded, 
did it all from my old workroom just over in the next section. But, oh, fuck. Oh. Shorting these mechanicals, you must know a way to stop them. Look, I don't want to fall into any trouble with the mechanicals. If they wise up to our plans, they will come for us with prodding irons. Nice. Persuade. Yee diddy. Um, I can deal with them. Yeah, we're gonna be nice. You know, so. you remind me of myself back when I was an intergalactic adventurer. Wow. I discovered a flaw. Their hostility levels were hardwired to maximum. There's no changing that, but you could rewrite their targeting protocol so they attack each other instead. You can also the behavior of a logic module somewhat tampered with it. I saw that in an email. Yes, that's exactly it. I see you're also versed in the noble art of mechanical engineering. I am, that's why I'm an engineer. There's a behavior control terminal in the other room. It should have options to change how the mechanicals act, including whom they shoot at. Oh, now that reminds uh, me. You'll need my passcode to access the behavior control terminal. Yeet. Here, let me just write it down for you. Thanks. Uh, I wanted to ask you the something, tail. bro. Definitely start with the tail. If you're feeling adventurous, the ears are a particular Not delicacy. talking about how to eat a sprat, brother. How have you been surviving? Jimmy'd opened the vending machines. That lasted a good couple of months. Jimmy Eventually, Bar Russell. I had to resort to more unconventional means of filling my insides. You drink your own piss, mate. It's okay. Mr. Grills does it all the time. I'm just curious. Ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba -ba. Yeet. Modify behavior. Select new mode. Select new target. Define intruders. Spacer's choice. Yeet. Even though I'm pretty sure I kind of killed them all. Divert power from the grid. No, I'm not going to divert power from the place. I'm going to divert it to the place. It's kind of funny, actually. They pretty explicitly were like, that's something a hero would do. And you were like, what? But yeah, so the game pretty much laid it out. It's like, hey, yo, you should be nice this this time which i'm always gonna be nice don't worry about it i'm not here to make people feel bad all right is this better armor how is mining armor not better than that uh i don't even look that cool if you know one thing about me baby i do it for the flex how do i get to that what the hell oh wow okay <laughs> i guess it should have been obvious Use. two more listen What'll happen to Miss McDevitt's folk if we send power to the Vale? I don't know, and we're not gonna find out, madam. Okay, so obviously I've not already made the choice to... Because my concern was that once I flipped that lever, it decided for me, or it did, there was a decision somewhere that I missed, because I want to divert power to the place, you know what I mean? Wow. Um, okay. Excuse me, you son of a bitch. I'm gonna beat him. Oh. Once I saw it was doing zero damage, I thought, yeah, maybe this isn't a viable approach. What was that? Whoa. Nice. Anything interesting behind these here doors, son? Oh. Get some spray. Alright, baby. One to go. If we send the power to Miss McDevitt, what happens to the veil? Who's Miss McDevitt? What do you mean what happens to the veil? I don't even... I'm so confused. I, why can't this just be easy? It's okay, though. We got the We got their backs. We're a man of the people, baby. That's what I am. That's the last. That's the last. I'm not sure what the right is. All I know is the decision's final. Don't stress it. Now, I gotta admit that. Wait, can I talk to her? Does she have anything additional Something to say? Need? Um, apparently not. But if I divert it to the garden, to the botanical garden then 
the town with all the people isn't going to have any power. Which, I mean, I guess is Gucci, right? I just don't know. I mean, the game pretty explicitly said... Once we do this, there's no going back. That, that's what hey, a mister? hero would do. What's Look, up? Look, I know you want your power regulator and all, but I just gotta ask you. Do you understand what you're about to do? I wouldn't mind hearing your opinion. I don't think you should cut off Edgewater's power. I think it would be cruel. I I'm sorry. That just sort of came out all at once. Edgewater's hurting. We've been losing workers year after year, and corporate hardly ever sends replacements. There's barely enough Saltuna to fill our bellies anymore. But the town's got some good people in it. Decent, hard-working folk just living their lives the only way they know how. They don't deserve to be punished. Well, that's a good point. I don't... Miss McDevitt's built something beautiful. Somehow she's talked the ground into giving life again. It's plain to see she's made the Vale a better place. Fed the hungry, tended the sick. Gave a home to those that had none. But Miss McDevitt delights in Edgewater's suffering. She wants to hurt the town. Do you really want to be party to that kind of hatred? Oh my god. Well, that sure sounds like Mr. Thompson. If he was standing here, I imagine he'd remind us of how we're all one big, happy Spacer's Choice family. In Mr. Thompson's eyes, those deserters are still part of the Spacer's Choice family. The family must work together in order to survive. I hate to say it, but I think Mr. Thompson's got a point. Unless those deserters come back, Edgewater's as good as dead. Cutting off their power might be the only way. Boy! I don't... Sorry, I didn't mean to babble on. I said, it's, it's Gucci. I'm glad you did. I like hearing from you. Really? I mean... Wow. Thanks. I, no one's ever told me those words in that order. Oh. But, damn. I, I was kind of surprised. I figured she would be rooting for the botanical place. Oh, damn it. Yeah, redirect power. Warning, are you sure you want to continue? I guess. Well, damn, son. Irreversible procedure. You can't just flip a switch somewhere else. I'll be right back. Oh, fuck. God damn. <laughs> God damn, I just mad the shit out of my finger. Ow. <laughs> Oh man, I'm sorry. This fucking game just made me hungry, man. I don't know what to tell you. I just I was just craving some crave, okay? <laughs> Fuck off. Hmm. I'll, <laughs> I'll come back when I um finish my damn cereal. I'm just hungry, all right. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. No. What you doing? What? Walmart. But I'm confused. You said you're recording a video, but you got up and got crazy when I called you? No, bro. I was hungry before that. <laughs> so you were already getting crazy? Yeah. Home? Yeah, I just got hungry in the middle of the fucking game. Bitch. <laughs> and you're gonna be you gonna flake like, I'm so busy, I have things to do. I had stuff to do. 
And I did it, and then I went to a fucking Walmart and got some celebratory Gucci's, and then I... Hey, right now? In the middle of recording? Yes, actually! I <laughs> wanted wow. a bowl of cereal. I've never known you to do an impulsive thing in your whole life. Ah, uh, well, sometimes it calls for it. Well, I wish you would be this way around me. I love you very much. I will talk to you when it's over. All right. I'm back, y'all. Yeah. All right, shit. Well, <clears throat> let's see. Who do we want to be in favor of, right? The industrialist dude? Oh, shit. Or we want to be in favor of the nature people. Personally, that dude, that industrial guy, looks like... Like he's on his last leg anyway. You know, he kind of he kind of secretly wants the town to flop. But then they could all go out and just live a simple life, you know what I mean? We're going to go botanical garden. Shit, that's scary. Yee, dude, for a second I thought I accidentally picked the wrong thing. Oof, oopsie daisy, that would have been rough. Oh, I got to go talk to this guy. Spacer's choice reputation. Oh, I kind of forgot that was an actual faction. But hey. Sorry about it, guys. You get some uh, power some other places, you know what I'm saying? Wait a second. Where the fuck am I going? Oh, right here. Wow. That's quite the poster, sir. I just want to watch me dissolve slowly. What's the name of that song? I want to listen to it. Not right now, of course. But in the future. But it didn't say what, what, leather boa, what, bro, you gotta get the stack, wait, I've gotta kill that damn thing, that cannot be allowed to live, I'm sorry, okay, I guess that's not meant to be, hop, hop, oops, wait, hop, 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 Yeah. Where's that leather boa? He needs some caps, son. This is like a piece of Whoa, 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 whoa. It looked like a freaking slug from a distance, but I see now it's an actual freaking snake. <laughs> oh, is he not hostile? Aw. I'm. I'm sorry, man. I I just had to see what happened. I'm sorry. God, look, he's so tubby. Look at his little head. Oh, my God. Dude, fuck that. I can never do that again in my life. What am I doing? I gotta go talk to this guy now. Come on. What is he gonna say? He's gonna be angry. Then I'm gonna take his shit. And then we're gonna get in our spaceship and blast off into outer space. And that is what we'll call it an episode. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get more damn crave afterwards. Cause that stuff is so good. It's like crazy good. It's like little bump. That's really good, man. That's a seal of approval. You've got a technical seal of approval on some food? No, you haven't. That's okay. Oh Jesus Christ, my fucking ankles. <laughs> the fucking sound effects I got. <laughs> I just shrugging it off. But in the, after a second, he shrugs off the pain but for that one second. It's like the worst pain he's felt in his fucking life. God, what the... <laughs> oh my god, that shit is dumb. <laughs> oh god. I don't know, man. I'm feeling good. I'm just enjoying life. Hmm. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Fuck you, like. Never mind. Dumb. Jiboop. I come in guns drawn. Ready to start blazing. You ain't ready. Better get your electrical pistols tasing. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Edgewater has suffered a cavalcade of disasters. Plague, marauders, desertion. Then you wandered in town. And I was so damn sure our luck was starting to turn. I'm sorry. I never knew how right I was. 
Just answer one question for me. Why'd you do it? Oh, I don't want to be a... That power regulator is company property. Mm. Whatever you were hoping to find down here, I advise you to turn around and leave. I have got guards posted with orders to fire on you. Do you? Call for guards. I want to bleed on my power regulator. Oh, baby, we're about to intimidate. I kind of feel bad. I mean, I don't want to be bullying this guy, but at the same time, he did kind of seem like a dick. So, um, take your fucking guards off. All right, easy now. Let's not do anything we'll regret. I'll order my guards to stand down. Take what you came for and then leave us be. Yeet. Man has leveled up and gained the grins of the new burger. Oh. <coughs> the companion page to do it. Okay. Listen, brother, I'm sorry, man. Stand down, all of you. We're done. Oh man, like I feel bad, but what are you gonna do, you know? Damn, I'm sorry, guys. Oh, excuse me, I'm really sorry, guys, but I gotta see space, you know? I gotta see space. Like, what am I supposed to do? Relax, bro. This ain't a hostile takeover. Put your peace away. Return to the unreliable. Bia. Yeah, I feel bad. Can I just... Oh, my legs again. Can I just, like, go? Hmm. We got we got to get into space quick. I hear they have Crave there. Tetis Ananiquidites. Parvati, we about to yeet up into the sky. Oh, wow, that's so pretty. Wow, that is quite the lean back I've got. That's so pretty. Oh, it's like... Oh, wow, I almost just died. It's like, you know, light and darkness coming together. That's so pretty. I love the orange. It's awesome. Wait a second. <gasps> ah, I lied. As much as I'd like to yoink on them, I'm just concerned I don't have the ammo. So we're just going to walk the other way. Oh, don't worry, I'll come back later. Give them the good old Tigner what for. There you are, big baby. Come on. I can't wait any longer. Get up there, fat boy. Come on, get up there, fat. Okay. There we go. Yee. Oh God, my <laughs> my foot bones. <laughs> They're just dust now, being held together by <laughs> my suit. If you took that away, it would just be some gelatinous. Is this your ship? Oh my God. Oh my star, she is just so handsome. Does she have a name yet? What's her drive model? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Listen to me babbling. When I was in Edgewater, I dreamed of flying on a real ship. Working on a real engine. Belonging to a proper crew. Edgewater won't last another season without power, but... That don't change the fact that I'm indentured to Spacer's Choice. The company expects me back at my post. Who cares? Fuck that shit. I have imagined it, but until you came along, I never thought I had the choice. I want to ask you something, and you can say no, but can I come with you? Yeah! I can tend to your engine, I know my G-valves from my catalyzers, and I can keep your ship singing. And if you ever need a pair of eyes watching your back, I can do that too. What do you think? Bro! The UG slash Bull Brew crew is always looking for more people to come chill on our ship. Oh, man. Oh, that would be so sad to say that. I'm not interested, Pravati. Goodbye. Man, who gives a fuck? I'd be glad. Pick yes. a cabin. I mean, thanks. He won't regret this, mister. Don't worry about it. I can call you captain now. I got a captain. Yeet, son. That is what I'm talking about. A yeet skipping a drizzle. That. I don't know where I was going with that, but you in here? Yeah! Sleeping accommodations can be a little tight, but hey. It's a pirate's life for me, eh? Captain, Ada! I have detected that the town of Edgewater is now without power. I appreciate you doing your part to hasten their demise. Oh, wow. 
What can I do for you, Captain? We can yeet. I have a power do you regulator. Know how to install a power regulator? Yeah, I know what I'm doing. Captain, your aptitude for engineering will prove invaluable in the event of another catastrophic engine failure. Our engine room is located behind you, across the cargo bay, uh, up the ladders. We've also got our own personal uh, engineer with us, don't we, Miss Parvati? Yes, we do. Okay, that's what I thought you'd be. I'll please slowly build my crew. Of yeehaw swashbucklers. Yeah! Wow, that looks like it's hot. Take it to anywhere. Got your very own ship. Awesome. We're just gonna close that. That's probably really loud. Here go my ankles. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Ooh. What can I do for you? All I installed it. Operating within acceptable parameters. Yeah, I'm boy. Prepared to bring the unreliable into low altitude orbit. This should prove an adequate test of our flight capabilities. Yes. I don't need to take care of shit right now. Fuck this place. I kind of just screwed over the majority of the inhabitants anyway, so. Boy. Wow, this is like a, a book about me. Against all odds, the unreliable takes flight. A down companion will pop back up at the end of combat, but not in supernova difficulty. That shit's scary. Because what's her name? Parvati's already like died multiple times, so that would I'd be out. I'd be out an engineer, bro. I can't do that. We have received a communication request from Dr. Phineas Wells. Oh, Dr. P. Dubs. Ah, there you are. Hale and hearty and captain of your own ship. I see you're putting the unreliable to good use. Shame about her former captain. Horrible way to die. Yeah, that shit was sad. How are you feeling, by the way? Hamburger looking ass. Cave back there. Experiencing any uh, unnatural drippage? Perfectly normal side effect of thawing, I assure you. Also, I can slow down time. Oh, that, yes, um, that's probably permanent. I wouldn't worry about it, though. I'm sure you're fine. Yeah, what you saw in Emerald Vale is happening all across the colony. Food no. shortages, lack of supplies, and basic necessities. We're dying. The chairman, the minister, and all their lackeys on the board are to blame. The Hope has some of the brightest minds Earth ever sent us. If we can revive the Hope's colonists, they can help us undo the board's mistakes. They can help us set things right. You need to get to Stellar Bay on Monarch. I have contacts there. They'll help me, help us, find the chemicals to revive your fellow colonists. Gladys Kelly, lovely woman, runs a cozy little black marketing outfit on the Groundbreaker. She can get you a nav key to land on Stellar Bay. Oh, why do I need a nav key? Strictly care. speaking, Monarch is a moon, terraformed badly, and almost completely lawless. You'll love it. I will. Captains don't fly their own ships, you see. Your navigation terminal handles the, uh, you know, navigation. Think of a nav key as a set of flight instructions. Makes sense. The board's been confiscating nav keys for Stellar Bay, so we must rely on unconventional means of acquisition. Hence, Miss Gladys Kelly. Gotcha. Nice. In theory, I suppose you could land your ship in Cascadia. And in theory, I suppose you might survive the experience. Cascadia is utterly seething with dangerous, highly aggressive creatures more than capable of tearing you limb from limb. You'd have to be a lunatic to land in Cascadia, and I'm reasonably certain I tested Trust you. me, talk to Gladys. Okay, I get it. What's well, stopping me from just leaving Halcyon altogether? Without a skip drive, good luck. You'll be dead before you make it to the nearest star. Fair Look, point. I admire your optimism, but the sad truth is you're stuck here. You, me, and the rest of this colony. We're all skating precariously around the edge of oblivion together. None of us are leaving Halcyon alive, so we may as well make it a better place. And we can start by reviving the hope. Okay. 
Excellent. I'll send her a wireless. Let's send her a copy. By the way, I gave Captain Hawthorne a disguise apparatus of my own design. Cutting edge technology years ahead of its time. I call it the Holographic Shroud. I'm sure it will prove remarkably useful to you. You'll find it in the captain's quarters. Thanks. Excellent. I'll contact and remember, you. don't okay. trust the board. They'll try to win you over with promises of wealth and power. But it's a lie. The board's only interested in filling their own pockets. If we don't put a stop to them, they're going to run this colony to the ground. Transmission Probably. ended. If you are ready to depart, please select a destination on your navigation terminal. Ah. Uh. Whoa. 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 When did we get up here? I thought we were just on the... Oh, wait. Yeah, that's right. There was a loading screen, wasn't there? Damn. Okay. Bro, this is so cool. Oh, my God. Oh my god, man. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. And how massive. Like, that's a whole con. It's like half a planet. Imagine being able to see all of this with your own eyes. And like, like, just if this was Earth, obviously. That would be a crazy sight. Up so high. Anyway. I kind of want to see if there's an upstairs version of that. Parvati! Yeah, boy. Oh, man. Yeah, give me this. What? The holographic trial projects a disguise on you and your... C oh, it gives you access to restrict theories. Provide you have the correct ID cartridges. Restricted areas are off-limits on authorized personnel and otherwise result in being attacked on site. That's cool. Oh boy, more of this. I like it. Alright, awesome. Weapons from the void. Oh yeah, I'm gonna do that. Wow. Just being so close, like to the edge of the universe, you know what I mean? Edge of the universe, but like look at that. Oh my god. Imagine standing on the edge of everything. Wow. That is incredible. Bravo game. Bravo. Alright. This is where I've got to save it. Okay, because if I don't stop here, who knows when we're going to have another stopping point. But yeah, all the stuff I was talking about before still still applies. You know, I just did this because I, I kind of felt like I stopped right when it was getting good the last time. And I didn't want to just let that be the only video on this game. So, um, if you guys want to see more of this, let me know. I'll post more of this uh, game. I'm probably going to be playing it a lot. But if you want me to record Captain it, just... Hawthorne used to be more dashing. Shut the fuck up! Dang! All I've been was nice to you. But I think that's enough for me. So thank you everybody so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments. And of course by liking and subscribing and following us on all of our social media. That is Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. Thank you all so much from the bottom of my heart. I love you. And I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.